Hey, this is Nate from Brokey.com, and I'm here with Shane Del Rosario at Team Oyama. How's it going, Shane? Good. Are right, you training for your fight at M1 Global Russia? You're going to be fighting on uh, Team USA West. you be fighting... <laughs> that was Romeo Dunson, Muay Thai champ. Uh, you're going to be fighting Luis Pedro Rivero. How's your training for the fight been going? Uh, it's going good. It's the same old, same old thing. It's training hard. Uh, they changed the opponent. It was going to be uh, Cadillac, Lloyd Marshbanks, but now it's uh, a Brazilian guy, which I don't know anything about. So uh, just training for the fight, and it's getting ready to go. So now, so since you don't know anything about him, and you're like thinking it was going to be a different opponent, opponent, how do you approach uh, your your training? I mean, do you kind of just try to cover all grounds, or? Uh, I'm just still working on my, my things. I you know my main concentration now is working on my wrestling and working on jujitsu. So um, that's what I've been doing, and this guy's Brazilian, so I'm sure he's gonna know some ground. Um, and then other than that, oh, yeah, just the same old thing. Every fight preparing the same way. Now, last fight against Maxim Grishin, man, 21 seconds. <laughs> he was out. Yeah. I mean, and then your fight before that for M1 took a, what a little bit over a minute. I mean, you think you're just gonna run through these guys? I mean, I hope so. Yeah, I, I, you know, I like getting the paycheck quick and no injuries, especially. You know? yeah. I'm coming to come back. And I'm fighting for Strike Force, uh, Strike Force November 6th, so I want to come back healthy so I get right back to training. So have they given you an opponent for your Strike Force? Um, I believe so. No, I don't know yet. Uh, what, what the name is, I forgot. But uh, yeah, I just found out, so I'm not sure. Okay. So uh, that's going to be November 6th? Now? November 6th, yeah. Now, fighting at heavyweight, Strike Force signed uh, Fader Milenenko. They got mm -hmm. Brett Rogers. Are you ready for, to get in there with those guys? I mean, once you, you're 7-0, could be 8 0 after this fight, and then you win the strikers, you'd be 9 0 if you can get through all those. I mean, the name's gonna start getting thrown around there. Yeah, you know, uh, you know, I think Brett Rogers will probably be in the future sometime soon, you know, to, you know after he's done with Fedor, you know, and there's uh, you know, a lot of other good heavyweights there. So, you know, I'm, I'm in this to fight the best, you know. I've been taking my time, you know, but now it's, it's uh, starting to get ready to fight harder opponents. opponents. So, uh, I, you know, I'm excited, I'm getting ready to go. Now, you're Muay Thai champ, WBC heavyweight Muay Thai champion. You uh, said last time we talked to you that you might be defending your title against Scott Lighty. Is that still in the works? Uh, you know, I, I just promised uh, promoter Dennis Warner that I would fight by the end of the year because it's been almost a year since I defended it. So, you know, it's kind of cheesy. So, I'm trying to do that. Um, you know, I have these next two fights for MMA, and then I talked to him about when the Muay Thai fight's going to be. So, so, nothing, yeah, nothing for sure. I don't know, just his talk, yeah, that's it. All right. So, you were. You know, off for quite some time. You know, from MMA action, you've kind of, you know, you're gonna have like three fights here towards the end of the year, um, or about four or so. Is uh, that kind of what you want to fight at? That many fights every year, four or so, or? Yeah, you know, I want to try to fight every other month as long as I'm not injured and get as many as I can the next year and a half, and then push to go to the you know, UFC or or you know the strike force. You know, stay there and, and be on top. You know, so hopefully, you know, I just want to get the experience, get the number of fights, and then you know see what happens then. So what do you think about the UFC's heavyweight division, man? They got some big names in there, like Brock Lesnar and Shane Carwin. <laughs> yeah, it makes you want to drop weight when you got to fight Brock Lesnar or something. But yeah, I don't know. I'm just not thinking about that right now. I'm just thinking about my own fights. And you know, and whatever comes my way, it will come, you know? Just making sure you're not getting ahead of yourself or anything, man. Yeah, I just want to focus on what I need to right now. Uh, yeah, a lot of guys, you know, you talk to them and they're already thinking about that next fight, but it's good to see that, you know, you're keeping yourself grounded. You're just trying to improve your game. Yeah, I got a lot to learn and a lot to do, so, you know, I'm just you know, here doing that. Can you give us a prediction for your fight at M1? Uh, I just hope we win, and if we advance to the finals, I want to go back there and win the whole thing this year. All right. Now, everyone, make sure to check out M1 Global on the 26th of September. Team USA West versus Team USA East It's going to be in Russia. Make sure you watch Shane. Probably going to get a quick knockout, you know, if he keeps <laughs> following the path that he's on. Ladies and gentlemen, Shane De Rosario. Thanks. Yeah, thank you.